hockey guys, and we love Chicago! Johnny Pace Agent. I wonder what this could be. Hey, you still play hockey, right? I haven't uh, touched the ice in a little bit here, but, you know, I'm still keeping in shape. Are you sure? Your Instagram's telling me otherwise. Oh, don't worry. That's just uh, some summer habits. I just got off the phone with Chicago not too long ago. and The Blackhawks? You know, I, uh, the Chicago Blackhawks, that's right. Oh, and, wow. you know, they're making a big stink about this Bedard kit. But, uh, you know, Mr. Davidson called and said he's inter interested in you for some reason. Um, listen, bud, we got to pack our bags and head to Chicago. Show face over there because there's a chance you might be getting drafted first overall. Wow. What? Wow. That is, I am literally speechless right now, but count me in. We'll see you in Chi Town. Okay, I'll see you there. See you there. Thank you. <laughs> what the heck? Did you guys actually hear that? Well, welcome back to the vlog. We just got some exciting news that apparently the Chicago Blackhawks are interested in me, so we got to head to Chicago. I never thought this day would come, but. Uh... I'm excited to see Frizz get drafted. It's about time. We're back at the airport again for the fourth time this month, and we are ready to roll the Chicago, baby. Big day for my boy Frizz. Getting nervous. Oh, someone's forgotten the bag. Hey, we got two steps onto the pavement. Forgot the bag already. <laughs> I got a haircut too, by the way, but I look like a European. <laughs> Just landed in Illinois, and these guys are already making TikToks in the jetway. They're cursing me right now, I'm not even kidding. Why? Because everyone was already looking at us, and you're just filming everything. With the camera up in the air, like, look at us, we're Justin Bieber and Justin Timberlake coming through. Jeez. I'm glad we're past that now, let's move on. Now we're on the hunt for two hooligans that go by the name of Johnny from Hamilton and Taver McTavish. I'm so confused, this place is huge. Oh, oh yeah. there the boys All are. Right. We found them. We found them finally. Another good travel man. day for travel. Oh, man, every time. Left like an hour. I was there an hour before him and I left an hour after him. Yeah. <laughs> Your flight was supposed to be an hour before me. And I was supposed to be an hour before him. Wow. Huh. So I was at Pearson for six hours. Floor. We gotta go to the third, but we were in the wrong building to start with. <laughs> east wing. Was like we were in the west wing, now we gotta go to the east wing. We just and turned the elevator up and now we're going down <laughs> through the stairwell. <laughs> oh, is this you, Chris, that fucked this? What's going on here? Who put these is rooms together? It's gotta be... Oh, boy. <laughs> <laughs> we look right into an alleyway. <laughs> we got someone. It's home for the next two days. Oh, awesome. <laughs> This hotel looks like it's from 1968, Frizz. Look at that. It's like, it's like Tower of Terror from Disney World. No, <laughs> look literally. at that. Look at it the actually, bathrooms. Yeah. Like, even the hallways, they're just <laughs> scary. Like, it's just, like, old. It's old. It's like the shine. <laughs> I don't know how to say it. You're just old. <laughs> who's sleeping together and who's staying solo? Camera. I have a tendency on these trips. I sleep with one person one night and the next person that night. I'm waiting for my solo opportunities. So He's just saying weekend. that. Last trip, he, he was solo both nights. No, we I wasn't. Get him that. It's like we're in a coffin. Can't move. The funny thing is, guys, there's like little white particles now floating up in the air. Oh. We finally made it to the five-star Best Western River North. This place is pure it's, luxury. We're going to go find a late-night munch. What other Chicago classic? Then Portillo's. Yep. Italian beef, hot dogs. Mm -hmm. French and fries. crinkle cut fries and a cake shake. Taver's gonna get a cake shake. These guys have been around me, training me, helping me prepare for this big day tomorrow, and we have to nail it. He's getting drafted tomorrow. He's getting yeah. drafted tomorrow. That's sweet, man. By who? <laughs> By who, the army? No, he's not. <laughs> 
hearing a lot of talk around this town. My name's being mentioned a lot of spots. I was at McDonald's earlier today, and I heard the cashier was saying that Frieza guy is going to be the difference maker. Really? You got the wow. there, are, there are some teams that are willing to take a chance on him. There's a team in uh, Belarus 3, <laughs> Latvia 4. And then um, Istanbul Gladiators really want him. But hey, we'll see you tonight, right? Oh, there he is. That's why we have him, folks. Showtime. You gotta do it for Ollie. You gotta do it for the boys back home. You gotta do it for the boys here. Let's get out there and do it. I could call him, and Frizz goes. <laughs> now I've been absolutely killing it this you know whole what? trip. You know what? what? You have every every single about, detail. Yeah. You got to give him credit. He has done a good job, but you could hit that little telephone button on there, and it would call him. <laughs> <laughs> and then he would probably come out. This is good learning. I like it. Right. Yeah, I like are you guys it. the hockey guys? We are, yes. Okay. Yeah, you guys can come on in. <laughs> oh, okay. Thank you. First jersey of the night. Hey, I just got mistaken for David Kaplan. <laughs> that's a low what man. A, no, that's the best compliment I've ever gotten in my life. <laughs> I thought that Johnny was the one that smoked us in the marathon, but... No, that was uh, he bailed on his boys. He didn't beat them. He bailed. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, a 72-year-old smoked you guys too. <laughs> We're gonna go crush oh, some kids in ball oh. hockey. We got the Maurice Richard straight blade today. Yeah, no how righties. They know. No righties. How they know my pattern? <laughs> I'm the smoke. Too many. Too many, kiddo. I thought you were the hockey guys. What? We're going against Ollie and Jacob, the on the bench boys. One last chance to show the scouts what I got. Now or never. Not today, kiddo. Not today. Not today. That was the most embarrassing move I've ever seen. Those are some dust. That was Yankee. terrible. Looks like my spot may have slid down a couple spots. Yeah, no, he wasn't going first overall, second overall, or even in the sixth round. <laughs> <laughs> Plan right now is we're gonna go mingle with some people at this wonderful event. I am excited. Welcome back to another episode of the Hockey Guys Hockey Quiz. I am here with Mandy. The question is. What is it called when you pass to the person that scores? What do you get? An assist. That's correct. Oh my god, this is so sick. <laughs> I'm like starstruck, but like, I don't know. We want the guy. We want the guy. So apparently, we got to do a sing along where the band does three lines of a song and we have to complete the fourth. Hopefully, it's some T Swift because you know we're going to nail those lyrics. Hey, this is the crowd we're going on stage with. Oh my god. That's a big crowd. That's a huge crowd. I don't know if I'm ready for that. That's like, uh, that's a couple thousand. Two thousand, probably. I'm kind of stressed out a little bit. I don't know what's going on. When I don't know the plan, I stress. I'm nervous. Red leather, yellow leather. This is the biggest, the biggest performance in hockey guys history. 6,000 tickets sold. So... I was nerve-wracking, for sure. 
the crowd react when we're singing. Were they? What the heck is this? Turn it off. Turn it off. We were all discussing. We're like, who knows it? Who knows it? And even Taver was saying no, but then he carried it. So, so the part where I thought they were gonna stop it, I was like, I have no idea. And then they kept going. So I was like, okay, thank God. And then we were all like, the I think we all just well, kind of went where together. Real nervous. The pick is in. Well, I don't know why Bedard was smiling when they showed him. Bucks are very proud to select from the Regina Pats. He didn't get picked. Playmaking Chicago. We took a shot. Fortunately, we missed. He's a great competitor and good for Connor. This is 10 times better than a fireworks show. A drone show is where it's at. Welcome to 2023. I think this quite possibly could be the coolest display. I don't even, like, this is insane. This is really cool. I've never seen anything like this. Uh, cool last spot. night was, uh, good. <sighs> yeah, you know, my client, uh, at the end of the day, you can only get him so far. You teach a man how to fish, but it's about uh, it's up to him at the end of the day, right? <laughs> what, what were the coaches saying about him? What was the final deciding factor? Everything, everything revolved around like the, what he does in uh, you know the city's nightlife. So uh, nothing was uh, hockey oriented. So the experience was really good. The fact that my buddy had a shot to to go high in the draft was. Made this whole trip a lot of fun, and um, you know he didn't make it, but that wasn't the point anyway. We still had a great time. We still had fun. We were just hanging out with him because he's expected to make the money, but now that he didn't get drafted, we can all believe him. <laughs> yeah, he's sure. no longer worth being our friend anymore. I think <laughs> yeah. we're just going to move on from from him now, and hopefully we find a new friend that we get drafted. Hey, how about the guy we were messing with last night? Me and Lawson played for the Blackhawks, oh, yeah. and he played for St. Louis. Yeah. <laughs> what do you say? And he's like, Hundo. He's like, no way. Hundo. And I, and I go, I go, say Hundo, and he's like. Hondo! <laughs> Poor guy, he was just yeah. oblivious to the world. Yeah. Oh, I was like, you know Alex Petrangelo? He's like, yeah, I know who that is. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, that's his D partner right there. And I pointed to Frizz. <laughs> Please make sure to like, subscribe, stay tuned for next week's video, and let's keep this summer rolling. I wasn't even asking who you guys were, he was like, yeah, we need a volunteer singer for you guys. And then John, he grabs Mike, he's like, we're the, we're the hockey guys and we love Chicago! Chicago. You know? All those tens of thousands of hours of training for hockey. We've been and this hockey is where players since we were three years old. This is what old. we've been boiled down to. <laughs> three years old. Roller, or well, not even roller hockey, just... Eh? Now, now we're playing oh, staged ball hockey. Hey, Dave, or Cappy <laughs> Dave, what do you guys call him? Cappy. That guy looks like David. <laughs> Yeah, that guy, that guy talks like, like that. Yeah, that's, that's definitely that's, Dave. That's Dave in like five or six yeah. years. Yeah. <laughs> not, not to sound like a complainer, but this is from 1981. It has a carpet in it. <laughs> I appreciate it. You guys are the best ever. TikTok, Instagram, podcast, everything. Love you guys. Keep doing what you're doing. I appreciate you. Mission accomplished.